Last year, Acorn Bristol voted on a new campaign to take back our buses. We want to bring the region's buses under public control to fix the problems that many people experience. Um, I'm an Acorn member in Bath and uh, I use the buses three, four days a week. I would say that the main problems I have are the prices. It's £4.30 for an all-day ticket, which is half an, half an hour's wage for me, which is too much. The buses are often late, so yeah, I would say those are the problems that I have with um, first buses. We used to have two buses, a 5 and 25, so there would be a bus approximately every 15 minutes. We now only have the one bus, the 5, which goes from Broadmead through, through St Werbergs and to Tesco Eastgate and Fishponds. But, but people sometimes have to wait up to an hour for this bus. There is no digital information on the bus stops and two of the bus stops have no seats. We are fed up with route cuts, high fares, delayed services, poor information, lack of accountability and more. We can make a bus service that prioritises people over profit. We're campaigning for public control, which is also known as franchising. Since deregulation in the 80s, private bus companies have been able to decide on routes, fares and timetables. So they generally run only those services where they make a profit. This has inevitably led to high fares and unprofitable routes cut to inadequate services or in many cases, no services at all. Tim Bowles is the current Metro Mayor of the Weka region, or the West of England Combined Authority, and he has the power on transport policy, so he's the target of the campaign. Although with the Metro Mayor election coming up in May, we're also targeting the other candidates. With bus franchising, the buses are still run by a private company, but the local authority has more control, effectively telling the private companies what to do. This is how it works in London, generally acknowledged to have a pretty good public transport system. I live here on Nana Farm on this estate and at the moment I'm currently standing at the end of Bishop Thorpe Road. We have no buses whatsoever and that really with a population on this in this area, sort of fairly high proportion of elderly, disabled, young families, it's really not an ideal situation. Uh, we did used to have the um, 508 and that used to, you know, had one stop sort of not far from where I'm standing, but yeah, that's been gone for about nine years, I should say. So yeah, we're just kind of left stranded, really. Many people in the region say that they'd use buses if they were cheaper and offered better services. So with increased use, people would be getting out of their cars and onto the buses, better for the environment and congestion on roads. The buses are already paid for by us, so it's about time that we had a say in how they are run. 40% of bus company revenue already comes from the government and local authorities. The Weka area includes large rural areas where services are desperately needed but require subsidising, something that private companies won't do and the local authorities can no longer afford. Franchising could bring efficient and accountable use of the public money that supports bus services, a comprehensive bus network prioritising need over profit, Simple area-wide fares and ticketing valid across all local services. Coordination of timetables and services between bus and rail transport. Stable routes and timetables from year to year. We're not happy with the Bristol buses because they've taken off our useful ones that took us to places we wanted to go, like Bristol Avenue and Westbury, the hospital and even my doctors. Now we have a bus that goes to the runway, which is really not very useful. We need to have the back bus stop back because we have got people who are disabled and elderly. Buses are cancelled and it involves then a considerable wait before you can get where you want to go. And it makes um, travelling by bus really tricky if you have a specific appointment at a specific time. So we re need to rethink how we're going to offer a reliable transport service in Bristol.
and the surrounding area. With lower fares for bus users, better running services and routes serving people's needs rather than profit, it's clear to see that franchising is the right choice. Join our campaign, take back our buses.